everybody it's Michelle and I wanted to show you guys a neat little trick if you need to resize your holiday gift boxes or maybe even come up with a box in a different shape it's really easy and you can use the gift boxes that you buy in the store and you can reconfigure those and I'll show you how we're going to take just one side this way, if we want smaller boxes, we can take one and get two boxes out of it. And instead of a box with a lid that goes on separately, we're going to have sort of a hinge lid. And you guys, this is a super simple way of doing this. We don't even have to do any measuring or anything. What you're going to need is your box that you're resizing. I've got a bone folder. You don't necessarily have to have that, but it's handy to have something to help you crease. So maybe a ruler or something like that. And then you're going to need some adhesive. I've got an adhesive roller here. You can use that or you can use double-sided tape. Um, if you had a little more dry time, you could even use a glue stick or something like that. Probably hot glue if you went really thin with it would even work. And a pair of scissors. And that is it. And we're just going to come over and fold this until it meets with our little side edge here. So we're just leaving it completely flat, not opening anything up. Just get that straight and make sure that it meets right up against this little edge here. And then we'll just flatten that out and crease it right there. And then we're going to do the same thing from the other side. Make sure that you've got this straight and that it touches right up against it. And then just, whoops, see that pushed out on me. We're going to make sure we've got it straight. Turn it around, that'll help me so I don't have to work left-handed. Not good left-handed. Okay, so get it lined up. And then crease it all the way down. So when we open that back up, what that did was give us two creases there that form a new side edge for us. And then See that where it tried to buckle on us. I'm just going to flatten that back out. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to come in and just cut this edge just out to the fold of our edge along both of those creases. And then you can kind of fold it out to make sure that that new slit goes all the way out to that folded edge. And we'll flip it around and do it again. And open that out. And then when we open up our box, We just take our little tabs here that we made, put a little bit of adhesive on there, and stick it into that side edge. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, into that same side edge. And that becomes our lid that will then fold perfectly over the other half. And there you've got a small gift box about half the size of what you had before or a little less. Okay, and if you needed a different shape, 
You can do it the other way. So let's turn this in the taller direction so that we can get a long, narrow box. And do the exact same process, making sure that it meets with this edge here of our side panel. Make sure everything's lined up. Increase it. And these heavy boxes are a little hard to crease, so I do suggest, if not the bone folder, that you have something to help you make that crease. And I'm just going to kind of curl it a little bit so I can meet that edge that I need to get to without quite creasing it just yet until I make sure everything's lined up and then press it down and I can come back in and crease it. And there we have our new side panel in the lengthwise direction of our box. So we come back and again just cut our tabs. Make sure that that goes all the way out to our edge. Flip it around. Cut the other one. And then we just open it up. Put our adhesives on our tab. I'll go ahead and do both tabs and just fold those. And press those in to those side panels there. shut and that's all there is to it. So you can get a long narrow box about half the size or the other way about half the length. So either way you guys want to do that. And I did another example here. This was with a lingerie size box and this one here was done with a shirt size box which ends up being just slightly smaller than the lingerie box overall when you do that. I did that with a patterned box, and if you do that, you just have your pattern all the way around. So I really like that. And here's the one I did with the shirt box in the longer version. So that's just a tip for you guys on what you can do to resize and reshape your holiday boxes or for any occasion. You can use your holiday boxes after the holidays with this white side that was just the bottom and you've got sort of an all occasion gift box that way and you can use it for anything after the holidays which is really handy. So I hope you guys like this tip. I find it really handy at the holidays to be able to do this. And without measuring, it goes so quick and easy as you're doing your Christmas wrapping and everything. So let me know what you think. And if you have any other little tricks like that for holiday wrapping and things, I'd love to know your tips as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like on my Facebook page. Also, be sure to go over and join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, and don't forget to visit my blog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.